Hello everyone, thank you all so much for joining and in this video we'll be looking closer to Achilla Vavonia versus the Flute and I'll be using it on Kaching because that's currently my main damage dealer and it has some interesting implications for her. Currently I have Achilla Vavonia equipped on her and as you can see my damage is around 2060 attack. Um, when we look at the stats I unequip my physical damage bonus gear and the only physical damage that you can see is from Achilla Vavonia itself so I do count it in the damage calculations. What you immediately notice is that the base attack of the flute is a lot lower than that of uh, Achilla Vavonia so the difference between a 4 and a 5 star base attack is quite significant. Uh, we're looking at 118 less attack on the flute base attack on the flute. Now, when we look at the main subsets of both of the we these weapons, you can see that Achilla Vavonia has a physical damage bonus of 34.1% and the flute has a flat attack bonus of 34.1%. So that's quite interesting. Between a 4 and a 5 star weapon, those will scale the same. Uh, I don't think this will change even if I go to level 90. Um, what's interesting is that the physical damage bonus will only apply to the white damage and the attack percentage bonus will of course have influenced also the electro damage. Now let's dive into the ab ability and what you can see with a killer Vavonia is that it actually gains an attack percentage bonus but it's on the ability which means it will scale with refinement. It's currently at 20% and each refinement it goes up by 5% up to 40% attack percentage bonus. So that's actually quite good because it means that the Kayla Favonia gets both an attack percentage bonus and a bonus physical damage bonus as the main subset. Um, now let's dive into the real abilities of both of these weapons. A Kayla Favonia is more of a passive ability in that you need to get a hit uh, for it to trigger. And when it triggers, you will heal at the moment 100% of the attack. Uh, this scales up by 15% each refinement up to 160 and it also deals an AoE damage of 200% and this scales up to 360 at refinement level 5. For the flute we're looking at a more um, active ability in that you gain a musical note each time you damage it every half second. Um, when you get 5, it will trigger an AoE and it will deal currently, because I got refined it rank 2, 125% attack. At refinement 1, it's 100% and it scales up to 200% at refinement rank 5. Um, Achilla Favonias has a cooldown of 15 seconds and the flute is just continuously, it doesn't have an internal cooldown, just each 2.5 uh, seconds at least you will gain that AoE, which uh, in practice is just an extra attack and at refinement 5 it's actually two extra attacks damage wise and that's quite good. Now when we swap the weapons um, you can see that that base attack is quite significant because you actually lose out 182 attack and that's due to scaling and just the 118 that you lose from the weapon, the base attack, will scale up to 182 for me, though when I level the flute up further and I don't get refinements for Achilla Vavonia, the difference will be less. I would have loved to incorporate Lion's Roar into this comparison because it's perfect for her. I used it before uh, before I got Achilla Vavonia, but I just don't have the materials to level it up, so I can't do a fair comparison. Now let's dive into some gameplay. Here you can see Killer Favonia, and the white damage is pretty good. I'm attacking a Rune Guard who has pretty high physical defense. And as you can see, when I switch to Electro, it deals a lot of damage. So that's that's great. Now let's switch to the Flute and attack the Rune Guard again. Again, high physical damage, so the numbers are going to be lower. But what you immediately see is that. Uh, the flute does deal less damage um, and it deals quite a bit less damage because it doesn't have a physical damage bonus so um, yeah 
So the difference is going to be less when we only get the uh, electro damage bonus, but I'll show that closer when we get to it. What's interesting about it is the proc, of course, as you can see, it procced a couple of times. Uh, let's compare, but let's compare the two side by side. For physical damage, you're looking at a difference of around 37% in the favor of a killer Vivonia. That is, of course, because it gets a physical damage bonus buff. And when we look at the electro damage, then we're only looking at a 10%. Uh, around a 10% difference between a killer Vivonia and the flute. So that brings it closer and because the proc of the flute is easier to get, um, it actually becomes quite a competitive weapon. At that point. Now let's look at the proc. This was a killer Vivonia. Let's see what happens here. I get hit a couple of times. What you see now is my basic attack that hits, 324. The heal comes in, 2k, I get damaged, and then you can see the AoE that in this uh, situation it crits, so it deals 1568 damage, which is quite significant, but this can only happen every 15 seconds. So now let's look at the flute's ability. Um, there it was, but I'll slow it down so you can have a closer look now. What you're looking at here is my attacks and at the moment, Kiching has a lot of quick attacks, so she actually attacks a bit faster than each every half second. So I now have two attacks. I have four of the musical notes, as you can see, but these attacks were too quick to gain my fifth. Now I go in for my third attack, and that will gain me the last musical note I need to trigger the, uh, the effect. I connect. So first you will see the damage of that basic attack. 308 and there's the burst and there is 361 is in this case the uh, the AOE that procs and that's quite interesting because it happens every two and a half seconds so realistically speaking uh, you're gonna proc this six times for each time a killer Vivonia procs because that's on a fif uh, 15 second cooldown but um, that's that being said you probably need to do some dodging so i think if you proc it every four or five times every 15 seconds you do great now which weapon would i recommend uh i really enjoy a killer vivonia and the reasons for that it's because kaching is my main dpser and i really like to have some heals um but uh and especially also the physical damage part which is just a lot higher and now you can say yeah but she's mainly an electro damage dealer and yes optimally she is but we have so few resources to level up multiple characters like if it was no problem to get a, a dps character of each kind i would say definitely go for the most optimal build but at the moment i did i'm going for the most functional build and especially with uh kaching's kit where every cooldown of your E you have the decision to make am I going for physical damage or am I going for electrical damage just having that option is is vital because we have the co-op event and you can spawn a, a wave can spawn with uh, the electro slimes if you fully commit to an electro build then you just <laughs> basically do a lot less damage because you cannot damage these slimes so I like to be able to watch the situation are there enemies that are currently immune to my damage okay then I'll do physical damage and it also is interesting because like for example if you combo it with Venti and his second constellation that will increase the physical damage so again Kaching is in that case um, able to just switch to what the situation needs like her E doesn't lock her into a damage type. You you are in control. So I really recommend a killer Vivonia if you can get it. And guys, really, if I'm gonna be honest, if you want to roll on something, I would roll on a weapon banner if you're satisfied with your characters. As you notice now, you're probably running out of XP materials to level them. And weapons are just something that you can 
continuously grinds and you can get them across characters you can get them uh, leveled up and you don't like a character might fall out of favor you swap to another character and you can instantly have your weapon there so if you're satisfied with your current roster um, and you're thinking okay am i gonna save up am i gonna pull in the short term do i want to pull in the short term i can personally recommend just rolling on a weapon banner because those weapons are in the long run quite valuable now i just want to thank you again i saw i reached 100 views on my first video which i never expected like i'm already happy if only one person gets some value out of this video so Thank you so much for the views. Um, I might do something, I don't know. I want to say something special for 100 views, but uh, a pool video, but that's probably just uh, an excuse to satisfy my gambling needs. Uh, but who knows, I might just do it. Uh, so again, thank you all for watching. I hope this was helpful and I'll love to see you in the next video.